Good morning. Diane here. Here are two of the boxes for my Handy Quilter Studio Frame. Instead of using my short foot, little foot, my Simply 16, I'm cashing in and upgrading to the 10 foot frame. So there are two of the boxes. Be right back. So these are the other two boxes. The UPS man kind of wimped out on me. He said they were too heavy to bring in through my front door. So I persuaded him to bring them into the side door here and just lean them. They are pretty heavy. They're about 75 pounds each. So he tells me. But I thought that was his job. But anyway, I'm going to begin emptying the boxes and bringing them downstairs. And Dennis is here today for a while, so he'll be helping me. Stay tuned. Okay, so all the four boxes have been opened up and there are pieces strewn about the area. There's my old base and my old machine, or my 16, simply 16. That's my old frame, which is now housing the new pieces of the new frame. And the, those are the leader cloths and those are the side frames. And then there are these tube things everywhere. Boxes and boxes of tubes. Um... I may have one more box upstairs that I've... Oh no, here it is. Haven't opened box three. That's piece number three from box three. Haven't opened that up. So that's what I'm up to. And if you'll notice on the video, this is what's great about Handy Quilter. As you can see, what can you do? Handy Quilter setting up the frame. It has had 9,969 views. So considering that most people probably watch it three times, if I divide that by three, does that mean 3,000 people or close to 4,000 people have set up frames? Don't know. Here we go. It's now 10.15. I'll tell you what time we check in next. Hello again. Well, still a lot of pieces to go. A lot of bars. A lot of stuff yet to go. Still a lot of stuff to build. However, we've got a lot of this put together right now. We're hoping this is the back of the table. It's kind of hard to tell what's what. Um, not sure if it's going to stay here in this area or if we're going to be sticking it in another area of the room. <sighs> so the time now is what time is it? Oh, I don't know. It's probably getting to be 12 o'clock. Yep, it's 20 minutes to 12 still have a long ways to go. Um, we've had visitors come in. My dad came in a few minutes ago for the second time and so we have little breaks. But here's where we're at. To be continued. Well it's now one o'clock. Is it ten minutes to one? Um, we've decided to stop for a lunch break. The um, frame is assembled. We put the plastic things in on these little side things here. Um, and now we're seating. We have to seat the machine to be sure that, I don't know, it says it starts to get it used to being on its tracks. Um, so far, so good. It's taking a little time. We had more company. People stop tend to stop into our house a lot, and you have to, you know, break from what, what you're doing. One of Dennis's friends came by to borrow, you no, know, to get something. I don't know. I don't know. Dennis, <laughs> Dennis said it was. Um, Dennis couldn't see the holes on the bottom of the assemb uh, frame, so I had to turn the light out. That's why it's dark over here. Turn the light back on. Yeah, let's assemble in the dark. So there it is. We're getting there. I, I don't know where this frame is going to end up. I mean, we took so much time to level it right here. It's level. Um, it might stay here. It might have to move a little more that way. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, to be continued yet again. Not quite done. Okay. Hello. It's 10 minutes to 4. We have been. We took a long lunch break. We didn't want to come back downstairs. <laughs> but we came down and we finished all the poles and finished putting the machine on. It's not staying up against that 
pole. I'll have you know it's not staying up against this pole. It's just there now because it ended up there. <sighs> it's too heavy for us to move right now, but it's assembled. It works. It was level, but then we started scooting it around. So it's not too bad. See how it's moving to one side? So we do have to get it totally leveled off. I'm going to come back and do that later this evening because um, this kicked butt. It really did, trying to put this together. And here's the rest of everything, just all pushed to the sides. Look at all the plastic that we had. Oh, I have to adjust those leaders and um, put Velcro on the stuff. And I've got some bungee cords over there. Still a few more things to do, but the stuff that I needed another person to help me with is done, so... More later. So just so you know, if you need to buy one and want to assemble it, you can do it. It just takes an afternoon, pretty much. And I have an old one that I don't know what to do with. Maybe I will sell it. Who knows? Well, thanks for watching. Happy quilting. Hi. Diane here for the last time. Well, not the last time. The last time today, perhaps. Uh... Here we are. Machines all set up. The room is cleaned up. Yay. I have, um, I pushed this machine back. I stuck my, um, surgery machine on that cabinet. I'll pull the chair over when I want to, you know, do, do surging. My embroidery machine, which I haven't used in quite some time, is still here, ready to go. I can't wait to get this thing going. It's dark in here. I don't have all the lights on, that's why. I just came down to finish up. All I have to do is put the Velcro. I have to put the Velcro on the poles. And um, after I put the Velcro on the poles, I'll attach the leaders to the Velcroed pieces. I went out to the store to get the red snapper set today, that system for... Um, attaching your quilts but they didn't it doesn't seem to have come in yet I went to Ryko and they haven't come in yet so I'm gonna have to call tomorrow and see when they expect that who's to say I can't just baste um, I'm gonna do a practice piece working on the uh, on the uh, long arm because I have I got so used to working on just five feet of space I'm feeling a little intimidated here um, let's see maybe you can see I've got the velcro on this first bar Sticky Velcro, though, it um, keeps a lot of uh, lint. It's always full of lint. So I'm all set, ready to go. And it's just Friday night, so I still have the rest of the weekend. I cleaned all my floors and the baseboards and folded up a lot of my machines so that I could move them around more easily. Uh, I have this frame to sell. If anyone wants a little foot, this is for sale. I put it on Craigslist. Um, once I get that out of here, I've got one more Singer sewing machine upstairs. The um, Class 66, I believe, is upstairs. So then I'll have my 301. I've got my featherweight here. I'm going to put the 66 right over there. Um, and this is just going to be the quilting area. My 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 um, my ironing boards just slide all over the place. I just slide them around to wherever I'm working. I have a small one there. I have one more small one upstairs I want to bring downstairs for when I'm working over there maybe with, you know, small small um, quilt blocks and want to press them real quick. So, very happy to say that this thing is all together. We thought we had leftover uh, washers, but I called Handy Quilter today and found out that those are there just in case you need extra spaces for the poles, like right in here. Sometimes the poles are a little short, so you take that um, right where this washer is you could add more washers they gave me like 10 extra washers <laughs> and at the end of the day I said oh my goodness the only other things I have to do besides putting on I just noticed these these are just little um, little rubber ends that should go on each of these um, what do we call them not screws the screw ends I'm going to put those on it'll be 100% done so, wasn't too bad. It really wasn't too bad to put this thing together, um, considering 
It was a funny thing today because I had the day off yesterday and today. And this morning, as it turned out, um, as I'm trying to get ready and get on with my day, I had to meet my father for around noon time. No, 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 one o'clock. My husband had, well, first my father visited. His friend, my husband's friend Billy came. My husband's other friend came. And then another friend came. And then one more person. I couldn't believe it. So my husband's pretty much retired. And he's always complaining about how he's retired. And he never seems to get anything done. And I said to him today, I understand why. <laughs> you get a lot of company, which isn't a bad thing. It's actually quite nice. Um... But I'm excited. I've got, I'm clean again down here. It takes so long to get yourself straightened out. So I'm straightened out again. We'll see how long it lasts. So um, more adventures on the long arm, I hope. See you soon. Bye.